one of these days, I, I, God willing, I, I can share some of those things with you, how they, how they came to be. And, um, but interesting that Jude will quote directly from the book of Enoch. Now, if he quotes the book of Enoch, and then he quotes a prophetic word from the book of Enoch, that prophecy that he just referred to in verse 14 into verse 15 is also a quote from the book of Enoch. Now, at a certain time, it was included in the package of the Bible, but um, some of the church fathers were split in two as to whether to accept it or not to accept it. In fact, the argument became heated that um, those who were against putting it there decided that they should exclude the book of James, uh, uh, the book of Jude altogether. But the question is why? I'm investigating that and I will let you know. Thank you, sir. I'm investigating that. Why were they split? Why would this be? Tertullian said it was, it was um, he wanted to ca uh, canonize it. Tertullian wanted to. Clement of Alexandria said it was authentic. Irenaeus said it was authentic. But you had a, a few others like Jerome and, you know, the, the few others who who had a, a problem with it. So I'm investigating all of them. And I want to find out why, um, why would they say no? And uh, here's an interesting thing. If Jude refers to that book, it means he expects us to know what's there. Um, that's, it's as simple as that. Yes, sir. Yes. In fact, there are books that are mentioned in the Bible. Let me read something. You'll be surprised. You, then you ask yourself, have you, ever, have you ever seen these books? I'm not telling you to go fishing for them. You haven't even read the one that they said you should read. <laughs> so don't even trouble yourself trying to find the ones that uh, are scarce. Okay. Uh, let me take you through a few. We're going to do a quick exercise here. Second Corinthians, go to second, no, second Chronicles, Old Testament. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 34. Let's see. Now the rest of the acts of Joseph at first and last. Behold, they are written in the book of Jehu, the son of Hanani, who is mentioned in the book of the kings of Israel. The book of Jehu. Have you ever seen the book of Jehu? Now, he tells us about the information in the book of Jehu because he expected his readers to know so they can get some information from the book of Jehu. Now, um, like I said, be careful so you don't go and get fake book of Jehu, you know, but, uh, because that, that can be the challenge, all right? That can be the challenge. Authenticity, when you... Okay, 2 Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 15. Now the acts of Rehoboam, first and last, that means from beginning to end, are they not written in the book of Shemaiah? Shemaiah was a prophet. Okay, now he tells us, they're written in the book of Shemaiah, the prophet, and of Edo the seer, concerning genealogies. Interesting. Have you, have you seen those books, Reverend Tom? All right, now you go to 2 Chronicles chapter 9 and verse number 29. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the book of Nathan the prophet and in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite and in the visions of Edo the seer against Jeroboam the son of Nabat? Interesting. Now, some, some say that um, the book of... Uh, uh, first, uh, second Samuel, particularly second Samuel, they believe that the, the writers included Samuel and uh, Nathan the prophet. And um, some even believe that part of it might have been written by Gad the seer. 
Well, uh, that book doesn't say so. The reason 